right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I don't know if the voice is coming or not, but we receive a copyright claim. All right, uh, it's okay, it's all right. You know, we wanted to play. This is a, a church, and I don't know why it says copyright, but yeah, what we can do, you too. So, uh, happy new year with everybody. I hope my voice is coming. I don't know if you heard the song in the beginning because YouTube is going to cut it off um, because of uh, copyright. Anyway, uh, I wanted to play this uh, prayer because it's really beautiful. But you can, you yourself, you can search it, you know. And the reason I choose this one actually because this is in an Orthodox church. Uh, but the Pope, I don't care for the Pope. But I care that the Christians seek in unity. So it's beautiful to see uh, the Christians, Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox in a church. Uh, so I pray really that the Lord will bless us to understand that our unity is being a Christians. And being a sectarian is not something useful not for anyone Christ he did not establish churches he established a church so I pray in the coming year uh, we will have a unity between the Christians and actually this is what we work here uh, all the time we do our best to prevent division between the Christians and I believe strongly that those who seek division between the Christians they are serving the devil even if they think they are not um, so it's very important to do what is right you know one of you he sent me an email says what's your goal to 2021 I said nothing will change you know but there is a there is a verse in the Bible in, in the book of Psalm 82 which is saying defend the poor and I find this is very important because the poor always they are the one who don't find you know defend or defense uh, they are the one who is uh, targeted in every way in every mean uh, they are the one who have no power over anything and they are the one who they've been taken advantage of so defend the poor and the same time deliver the poor and the needy and rescue them out of the hand of the wicked the wicked, you know, they take advantage of you being poor and they try to deceive you and they try to make you, uh, let us say, a subject for them because you are a poor. Is my voice coming clear? Is my voice is good? I hope so. So it's very important. And the poor, by the way, here, not necessarily a person like the, the verse here is speaking about the poor who don't have any let us say, uh, wealth. But wealth is not necessarily, uh, you know, being poor by money. You can be poor by many things. So there's many poor people around the world. There's poor, they don't have money, they don't have food, they don't have shelter. And there's poor who they are wealthy. They have money, they have shelter. Uh, but each of one of them, is poor in, in two different ways. Uh, now, the poor with money and etc. stuff uh, doesn't make him a bad person because simply it's not his fault. You know, that's not, uh, not, there's not such a shame. You know, the Lord Himself was not a rich, neither was a wealthy person. He never even owned a horse or even a donkey. So, uh, he never built a house, he never built a mansion, he never built a villa, he never owned a slave. Uh, people who walk with him, they are volunteer, and they serve him voluntarily too, nobody get paid. Uh, so being poor is not something bad, but being poor in the spirit is something very bad. You know, my mission is to deliver, to deliver people from the wicked teaching of Islam, and the wicked Muhammad, who make the earth full of bloodshed and evil, who he claimed that he is a prophet, but yet he target to spread bloodshed in this earth. 
you know, when I watch my any TV station on YouTube, I watch them all on YouTube. I don't really have TV uh, programs. Uh, you know, these days everything you can watch live. Each time you see a killing, suicide, bombing, attack, etc., it is Islam. If you check the percentage of others, you know, there is there is people who they are criminals, or, or for sure. But the difference is, there is somebody who commit a crime for the sake of maybe being a thief, uh, maybe being evil, etc. But when it's come to Islam, Muhammad, he was able to convince the Muslims that by doing the evil he want, they are going to go to heaven. And that what make Islam very dangerous. Because you are talking to a person, he think that he is the good person and you are the bad person. So he himself as a person, he, is, he don't think that he is doing something bad. You know, if you, if you look at uh, ISIS, those are, you know, they are victims. Yes, they are criminals, absolutely, because they commit crimes. But they themselves are victims. They think that they are doing the right thing. You know, as the Bible said, time will come. And people will think by killing you they are doing favor to God time will come and people they will think by killing you they are doing favor to God so they are doing favor to God as simple as that so here we have a duty to make the Muslims understand that we don't hate them and we are not really their enemies and Muhammad, he did fool them. Muhammad the wicked, he did destroy them. Muhammad the wicked, actually, when he go in war, he don't go to war. He stand watching in the back. People die for him, and he is watching. And if one of the men, he die, he go to his wife after he die. For sure, the wife, she needs somebody. She need a warm chest, and Muhammad is always there. His chest is wide open. So those poor people who did, you know, being victims or they've been victim of Muhammad and his teaching, they are one of our target to save them from the hand of the wicked Muhammad. I cannot say the wicked Allah because Allah does not exist. You know, Allah is just a fake, uh, false god. So we cannot say the wicked Allah because Allah does not exist to save them from Allah. Uh, uh, a Muslim saying Allah, his name is Allah is the best planner well I don't know where he got this name from as I know in the Quran it says Allah is the best of deceivers secondly if you say Christianity is bad religion then you need to ask your prophet why he promised Christians to go to heaven in order to deceive them so again you are you know you are attacking your prophet making fun of him thank you for that you know when a Muslim he says to us Christianity is a bad belief and then he's a prophet he says a Christianity if you are a Christian you go to heaven I mean how silly are you right uh, the rate of apostasy no I did not watch it anyway we don't go by rates of uh, organization study trust me whatever the rate they put there the number is way higher take the terrorism and the, the intimidation you know uh, which Islam do to those who they think to leave Islam and then you will find that Islam is really collapsing so fast so our new year is going to be nothing different from the previous year deliver the wicked from the uh, deliver the, 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 the poor from the hand of the wicked and for me this is my mission to deliver the poor Muslims and the Christians and the Jews and the Hindus and whoever from the wicked religion of Muhammad all right uh, and you know there's many ways to do that first you know like uh, this is a war of ideas but when it's come to Islam it's a war of blood too because they try to kill you in order to stop your idea so it's not a war of idea only so when it's come to Islam you have to be careful that this is a very filthy uh, uh, gang uh, system the gang you know when they are minority 
Uh, they are very peaceful. The second they became majority, they gang together. Uh, a Muslim saying, I pray five times a day upon you to become a Muslim. Again, this is because you are an ignorant. The Quran says you pray for them or you don't. Allah, he deceive us. So again, you know, as you see, always when I see Muslims making comment, I don't know, I find them silly as if they are like four years old kids. They don't even know their religion. I never saw a Muslim, by the way, he knew his religion. Never, never. It's not even once. The guy who make videos to answer me, he never said, Inshallah. <laughs> when you, everybody knows that if you don't do it, you are not a Muslim. Uh, uh, Muslims, they attack Christianity, saying Christianity is a lie, and then the stupid Muhammad says you will go to heaven. Muslims attack, uh, uh, the, the Bible says the Bible is corrupt, and then Muhammad, he take an oath on the Bible. So who is the stupid here? You know what I mean? I mean, this religion is infected with stupidity. This is the big, uh, by the way, I'm very thankful that Islam is a very stupid religion. I think our Lord, he gave us, let us say, uh, he, he gave us a hand, he helped us. Yes, Muhammad is evil and he was able to, uh, you know, to torture and to kill and to, to, to create chaos in this earth. But the Lord, he did not leave us without the proofs that this person is a deceiver and he's not only a deceiver, he's a stupid deceiver. If you go in the Quran, chapter four, verse number 88, you will see, uh, Allah saying, uh, are you going to guide those who went astray? The one or the one who Allah deceived? You cannot guide the one who Allah deceived. So this is a religion, have a mentality, that they have a God who is Satan. He deceived people and you cannot guide the one who been deceived by Allah. So how in the world this religion can be even considered as a religion? You know, if you if you read with me here this chapter here, chapter four, verse number eighty-eight. Allah cast people, you know, Allah cast them back to this belief. This is a Muslim translation. <laughs> so even if somebody disbelieve, the Muslim believe that Allah caused you to disbelieve. And then Allah, he who he caused you to disbelieve, or caused you to disbelieve, he will punish you for disbelieving. <laughs> you know, if you think about it, the reason Muhammad and his foolishness, he says that, he can't explain, you know, he's trying to find excuse. I mean, why people are leaving Islam? I mean, what is the excuse? So he want to blame Allah. Okay, what we can do? Allah, he made them go back out of Islam. So, but by doing that, because he is a, a, a very uh, stupid to the point, he's so proud, you know, to the point, he don't want to admit that people, they have a freedom of choose, and maybe his religion is bad, maybe they are right. No. So he said, it is Allah who cast them out of Islam. Allah, he deceived them. And then he continues saying that Allah told him that, do you want to guide whom Allah deceive? I mean, look at this stupidity. So, if Allah don't want to, to guide those who they are deceived, why he sent Muhammad? You know what I mean? This verse alone is a story by itself. It's showing you how, how much Muhammad is suffering from flight of thoughts and how stupid he is. So, but in the same time, I have to say, I'm very thankful that the Lord, you know, he made this man somehow very stupid. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to fight this evil person. If not, the stupidity of Muhammad is going to be very hard. I mean, Muhammad is so stupid, and the Muslims still, they make fabrication, scientific miracle in the Quran, etc. When the Quran is the biggest disaster ever. And many people can be fooled by the wicked Muhammad. And they believe him. 
especially these days the propaganda machine of Muslims is a huge and we who fight Islam we are very small in number you know if you go right now and see how many priests that you know speak against Islam you will find you can count them by by fingers if you ask yourself how many Sheikh attack Christianity all of them tens of millions tens of millions not to mention organization money you know like uh, uh, this guy with his name uh, uh, big organization a lot of money Zakir Naik 12 satellite they are broadcasting his program 24 hours a day Twelve satellite. You know, I remember once we tried to to have a, a, a TV station, we did not get enough support. That, you know, very maybe very few people they respond to the help. Uh, and when we question how much it is, it take uh, just for the to rent the time. You know, like they give you a frequency in the satellite. So the average start from twenty thousand a month. 20,000 a month. This is just for the satellite. You know, anything else, they have nothing to do with it. You know, just give you like a, a pass code to broadcast through the internet. They receive it from the internet. They put it for you in the satellite and you pay 20,000 a month. So if Zach and Nike have 12 satellites, how much a month he spent and who is paying for it? So we cannot, you know, we cannot compare between how he used, you know, Saudi Arabia. We, they have, we have countries, they have budget to spread Islam. All Islamic countries, they have budgets. What is our budget? You know what I mean? What is the budget of, the, of us, those who... Uh, you know, fight the cult of Muhammad. YouTube? We cannot even keep YouTube channel open. I cannot keep my videos, you know. So we have big organization against us. We have YouTube, we have Facebook, we have, you know, I just decided to delete my Facebook because whatever I post there, they keep sending me warning. And I'm sick of it, you know, okay, you know, okay. I don't need really Facebook. People, they come wherever I go, it doesn't matter. It's not really important for me. On Instagram, I cannot post anything. Even I post hello, it doesn't show up. Even I post hello and show in, in, in Instagram, it doesn't show. But if you are a terrorist, if you are a big shake, if you are as I can make wanted for terrorism, real terrorism, Instagram will not block you. You know what I mean? So we have a huge different in let us say uh, uh, in the quantity and the quality of tools but in the same time we have a huge different Muslims are still so weak because they don't have the truth in their side so all the money yes hundreds of millions and billions of dollars yes tens of Islamic countries how many times I receive complained from the Pakistani government about my videos and YouTube depending government are trying their best to protect Islam so we are just a few individual in YouTube you know we are not bishop we are not priest we are not and sadly our bishop are busy you know having titles you know and I'm a bishop you know they do ceremony and uh, they do rituals and that's it this is their job you know their job is a wedding party or a funeral that's it. What is between is none of their business. So we are replacing, or let us say, we are covering what those priests should be doing. We are the one who is doing what the priests are not doing. This is why, you know, some of you were upset because I speak, um, they understand that I speak against priests. I don't speak, I, sp I don't speak against priests. I speak against 
false priest. A true priest, his job is to expose every cult. This is what Jesus did. All right? If you are a priest who just makes ceremony and uh, ritual, thank you very much. We get that. All right? People, they have different needs. People suffering from drugs, people suffering from uh, many crazy stuff in this world today. And what do you do? You know, you are wearing your uniform and people, they have to treat you with respect and you are disconnected from the people. You know, it's, it's, it's the same as the Muslims. You know, the, the, the sheikh, he think he is higher and the rest are like potatoes around him. And he talk and he make orders and people have to obey. Yeah. They forgot that Jesus himself, the Lord, he washed the feet of his disciple. In order to be a master, you have to be a servant. So they wanted to be the masters, but they don't want to be the servant. Now for sure, I'm not talking about everybody, but many of them, they are like that. Uh, however, I'm so like so happy that you know we were able to accomplish a lot of things even we have little we have you know we are able to make thousands and thousands of Muslims leave Islam and actually I was praying to the Lord that this last week of December will not go be before I make somebody leave Islam look like I did not you know I mean I, I prayed for it I spoke to a Muslim uh, you know in the private and you know almost he is there but he is he he needs some time you know i was like he was going to make my day actually him and his family i spoke to him and his wife he was going to make my day that the last day of the year would be blessed to have him accepting the messiah but you know he decided that he need more time but his wife actually she was saying to him uh, his wife actually she said i accept you know i i said do you accept the messiah and then the wife i heard her saying like but she's on whispering she said i accept and then he jumped he says we need some more time please you know we don't want to just say uh, something we are not uh, very sure from so almost today we have the, the the gentleman and his wife i don't know if they are listening uh but i pray that before the end of this night he will accept him and his wife so he will make my day uh It's very important not to uh, complain much about how you know how weak you are. Let us say how let us small you are, maybe you know, like uh, a guy in YouTube. I mean, we have Pakistan, we have Saudi Arabia, we have Ministry Ministry of Islam. You know how many Ministry of Islam we have in the world? Go check it out. Ministries they have a huge budget. We are talking about billions of dollars. So you are just a YouTube guy, and there's uh, what five hundred people listening to you. So. Uh, I mean, we cannot really compare, right? But it's still, our videos are published everywhere in the world. And we were able to change the point of view of Islam upside down. Our books, our videos, uh, and those who translated the, you know, I want to say thank you very much, all those who did help in the translation, I really appreciate all of them. And guess what? not a single one of them he got paid a penny not even one actually there's one i'm not going to say who uh this person he paid from uh, his or her pocket to finish the translation so the lord he bless us with good people who help we don't have organization to support us we don't have uh you know budgets of uh, uh, Saudi Arabia we don't have even a budget to open you know a little tiny place but uh, by the help of those people we were able to translate to all languages in the world almost I hope soon we'll have the Chinese that will be a great accomplishment um, and I hope we will be able to do more and more uh, we have somebody saying see a Christian prince is so mistaken so miskin miskin what was what miskin you know poor I don't know what does that mean you know uh, 
But I learned through my journey exposing this cult that one person can change a lot. It doesn't matter really. One person can make a big difference. Time will come and Christian Prince will die. And I pray to the Lord, actually, I will not live long. I pray for him, I will not live long. I'm not really attached to life too much. I don't care for it. Uh, but my books will stay there forever. And you Muslims cannot fight it. And you cannot delete it. And my videos will stay there forever. So even if I die a hundred years from now, there is somebody will watch my video to learn about Islam. And because all of our videos is a screen explanation, not the person sitting, showing his face, you know, that make it more valuable because reference, explanation, uh, details, not a person making, uh, you know, presentation of himself. You know what I mean? So we will stay there and, uh, you know, no matter who goes, who stay, the, the Bible says, let the dead bury the dead. All right? <clears throat> there is a book, Answer Perfect Islam. Uh, my friend, don't post links, please. Otherwise, the admin will block you. But anyway, what perfect Islam? There's no Muslim can, can, uh, can uh, I don't know if this is a Muslim website. But nobody can give us a perfect answer about anything. You know, I'll ask a very simple question. Who is Allah? Don't know. What Allah mean? Here we go. Just take, take, take a look. Muslims, what Allah mean? Just to show you how silly, stupid this cult is. Muslims, who is the one can tell us what Allah mean? I mean, have you ever heard of religion? <clears throat> the sheikh, the scholar, and the dummy. None of them knows what Allah mean. Like we have, we have a Muslim here. It's called Allah the best uh, deceiver. Allah the best deceiver. What is what is Allah mean? Can you tell us? You see, I approve your text so people can read it. Can you tell us what Allah mean? You don't know. <laughs> they don't know. <clears throat> so when we say this is a very stupid religion, it's very easy to do to 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 defeat. And I, I assure you, it's extremely easy to defeat. This is the most stupid cult ever, and the easiest. You see, debating Jehovah's Witnesses is way harder, even though they are stupid too, but it's way harder than debating Abdul. But what the Muslims they do, they choose people who do not know anything about Islam to debate them. And they choose people who do not know much about the Bible to debate them about the Bible too. And the result of that, you don't know this, you do not know that, so you are ignorant. And it doesn't matter who you are, when you are ignorant, you lose. But not our Lord will lose. This is why we come here and we say, who is a Muslim when I debate us? Who is a Muslim sheikh is willing to debate me? We cannot find them. All of them, they make excuses. They can debate me only face to face, and we know that this is done in the purpose to avoid facing me. You know. Uh, and this is my offer for the new year. If you are a Muslim and you are listening, if you know somebody, he claimed that he is a sheikh. He claimed that he can refute the Christians. I will be happy to have him for let us say two hours open talk friendly talk he can tell me anything he want to prove to me Islam is from God actually maybe it's a good idea if we have a Muslim who would like to call me now but he is knowledgeable I don't want to have a kid who do not know what he's talking about and I will take your call right now if you are a Muslim uh, Okay, hold on. We have Allah, the best of the uh, deceivers, saying, uh, by the way, uh, Allah, the best of planners. Can you show me the verse saying Allah is the best of planners? Look what you just said. Ha ha, Christians, can't you prove me wrong? Okay, I am challenging you now. If you prove that Islam is wrong, I would become a Christian. Okay, Allah, the best of planners. Are you willing to call me right now? I will open sky for you.
What do you think, guys? Are you willing to call me right now? I will open Skype just for you. What do you say, my friend? Mr. Allah, are you there? Or you are deaf like Allah? Let everybody hear, you know, nice conversation between me and you. I don't know what you will say to me. You know, you said, prove me wrong, right? So you are making a challenge. Prove me wrong. Can you prove me wrong? Okay, you call me. Tell me what you want to say. And the rest, leave it for me. Can you do that? Or you will be a potato now? Huh? Is he there or he is playing dead now? I am married, I can't. Ah, oh, you are a female. Ah, oh, here we go. So, uh, she is married, she can't. So, because she is married, she became a potato. You know, you are calling life on air and you are not speaking anything, you know. But anyway, what about your husband? <laughs> the guy who has four chickens. You are a female. What about the man? Is your husband is man? Or he don't dare? So you are saying, can you prove me wrong? And when we ask you, let us see if we can prove you wrong or not, you, you decline. And now we are asking you, okay, what about your husband? Can your husband call me? If you are eligible and you are the wife, I'm assuming that the husband, he will be like a train. He will take us in his way. What do you think? She is married. Where is the man? He is busy with the four chickens, laying eggs. Okay, look like you are just a kid. Maybe you are six years old, married to a man, 50 years old man. So, as you see, if you ask him a very simple question about Islam, they don't know. Who is Allah? They don't know. Where is Allah? They don't know. How Allah look like? They don't know. Where is Allah? They don't know. So, what do you know? They keep speaking to you 24 hours, 7 days a week about worshipping Allah. But who is Allah? They do not know. Don't ask that question. Which makes Islam the most stupid comedy ever. You keep chasing me to worship Allah. But then when we ask you who is Allah, He is the Creator. My friend, I did not ask you what He do for a living. And by the way, the Quran says He is the best of the creators. So He is not the only Creator. Because the second you say He is the best, or He says that, that means He is the best. The best means there's many. So what the creator mean? Even that statement is stupid. So who is Allah? Any Muslim can tell us who is Allah? Do we have any Muslim can tell us who is Allah? Here we go. The year 2021, yet we are asking the same question. Who is Allah? They don't know. Not a single Muslim knows who is Allah. What Allah mean? The word Allah, what Allah mean? Any Muslim can tell me? With the proofs of, of and reference? <laughs> they don't know. They have no idea. So, this is a very funny, stupid comedy cult. You know, drama comedy. They don't know. And then... They want you to worship the one which they don't know. And look at the Muslim, they keep saying to us liars. Doesn't matter what you say, they, they can't answer anything. They keep saying liars, liars. That is a good sign of pain. Look, 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 what we are asking. Did we say anything, guys? Did we, uh, we are not even debating like, uh, you know, something uh, tough. We just said, who is Allah? Look at the answer. Liars, we just said, we said nothing. We are asking you who's Allah. Liars, <laughs> look who's Allah. Liars, <laughs> like the guy today. I spoke to him and his wife, and I asked him a questions, and he said to me that he, you know, uh, uh, he he know how to recite most of the Quran by heart, you know. And I said that's wonderful, but can you explain any verse in the Quran? You recite it by heart. But can you explain in the verse? He said, that's something I cannot claim. I said, so what kind of religion? You can recite the book, but you cannot explain anything in it. And then he said to me, true. That's not really smart. I said, so what the point? 
I keep repeating it when I was a child. They forced me to recite something like a, you know, a child. You keep repeat, you're forcing him, beat him, recite, recite, recite. He will learn it. And then we asked you what this is verse mean. You don't know. So what the point of this? Any Muslim he knows what the Quran even the word Quran mean? Okay, guys, just to show you how stupid this cult. Who is a Muslim can tell me what the word Quran mean? I mean, look how simple it is. What the word Quran mean? Anyone knows? Search Google. Actually, you know what? As long as Muslims are not helping us, I will do that myself. Just to show you how stupid this cult is. <clears throat> <laughs> What the word Quran mean? All right. I want to read it from an Islamic website. Well, okay. An Islamic website. Let us see. Bayan being Quran. I think this is a Muslim website. Yeah. Oh, ask a sheikh. That's even better. Ask a sheikh. But do you want more? We got a sheikh to ask. What the word Quran mean? This is the question. The website is ask a sheikh. So it's not a Christian prince who is talking. The sheikh talking. <coughs> Don't blame me. All right. The answer, among the different names given to the Holy Quran, the Quran, Al-Quran, is the most common and famous of all of them. This name is the Almighty Allah has given to the book. Okay, what, what is the answer? It was called Quran by revelation itself. Okay. What the quote Quran mean? I mean, what is the answer? Now we continue. About the meaning of, uh, uh, of the term Quran, there are two famous opinion. Even this one have two famous opinion. Why? There's two famous opinion. Listen carefully. One is driven from al qarra mean to collect, to collect. And one is driven from qaraa, which means to recite. Now. If we if we check what he said, if it's accurate, we will laugh because both ideas is stupid. Why? Because the Quran says, "Inna alina jamuhu wa Quranahu." Let us go there. Allah He promised that the Quran or what what they have in their in their hand today, Allah will collect it. So how it's called Quran to collect, and it says you can don't collect. I collect. <laughs> Chapter 75, verse number 17. You see, I don't know what is written there. I just open it, and right away the answer, we got them busted in two seconds. It is for us to collect it, and all of us, we knew that the one who collected the Quran was not Allah. It was Uthman ibn Affan. So, uh, you know, Muhammad, he made a false prophecy. The reason Muhammad don't have a Quran, because supposedly Allah told him, don't worry about it, I will collect it. It's for us to collect. And when you ask the Muslim, why Allah say us if it is him? You know, he say it's not suitable for Allah to say I, so he say us because that's more majestic. Well, that's mean to be Trinity is more majestic. I mean, if us will make Allah majestic, that's is silly. And he is not us. <laughs> so saying us, that is silly. That will make him majestic us. What does that mean? This is stupid. So it is for us to collect it. So what do you mean? The Quran means is to collect. Hmm? If Allah is the one who will collect it anyway. Then the second opinion is driven from the word Qara'a, which means between two brackets recite. That is the most stupid answer ever because the word Qara'a does not mean recite. Qara wara'a. Qara wara'a. The word Qara'a is two words. And I will separate the word for you in English, the same as he is writing it here. Hmm? Now there is there is letters we cannot, you know, in Arab, in English they are not exist. So, 
طرى اه اوكي ذس از كامينج فروم ذا اراميك لانجويج ويتش يو يو سي وات يو سو سو قرى And then ra'a, qara'a. Ra'a mean he saw something you saw. Qara spoke of. Say it. So in order to recite, you cannot recite something. He don't have it yet. Muhammad, he received Quran. So how he can recite the Quran if he just receive it? You know what I mean? If the Quran is what he received, so how he can recite what he just received? Before he received it, is it Quran? Yes, they call it Quran. But he just received it. Recite is to say something from your memory. Go check the English. Yetlu, yetlu is to recite what is in your memory. Qara'a is to read and say what you are seeing. Same as the word read in English. So again, the answer is stupid. So as you see, they don't know even what Quran means. If this is the sheikh, so what about the stupid one? This is the sheikh, imagine, this is the shaky sheikh. If a sheikh is here, he will be, he will be in trouble just for, for saying that to me. You know, when the angel come to Muhammad, he said to him, Iqra. The Muslim, they say, uh, there is Muslim, they try to refute me. They say, uh, oh, Christian prince, this is not true. You know, you are lying. The word Iqra, you recite. It says, wonderful, recite. That's mean Muhammad is a fraud. Because if the angel said to Muhammad, recite, that's mean Muhammad, he have the Quran in his head before the angel come. So the, the angel gave him nothing. That's mean the Quran is from the head of Muhammad, not from the head of the guy who came to him. You call him Jibreel. Because he's reciting what is in his head. Right? <clears throat> uh, you know, Abbas, he said, I don't give reference. I mean, I am the only one who give reference here. Have you ever seen me saying something without showing the screen? Never. If I am the one who don't give reference. <coughs> so they don't know what Quran means, and they have opinion and both of them are wrong. Quran means collect. I mean, how stupid is that? This is the name of the book, collect. You are collecting what? Zikr, uh, I, I see many questions, I don't know which one I would take first. Well, the word Zikr, the Muslim, they say the word Zikr mean Quran, but this is absolutely false. How we can prove that? The word Zikr does not mean Quran. Let me show you. Again, we are typing in English. Sometimes we switch in Arabic when we want to type in English with some time. Read with me carefully. Chapter 21, verse 105, it says, Translation. This is the Muslim translation. Okay? So, and we indeed, we have written in the Zubur, the book of Psalm, i.e. revealed holy book, the Torah, and the Injil. Okay? And... The Quran, this is a Muslim translation, the word, the word Quran, but it doesn't say that. Because, it's just to show you how they try to lie. Uh, which one come first? If we change the translation, the translator, just change the translator. 
let us see uh, uh, let us see uh, Shakir <coughs> and certainly we wrote the book after the reminder hmm. so which one is the Zubur and which is the Dhikr which one come first change the translation just to show you how, they are, how much they try to confuse you to avoid the stupidity of the Quran let us go to <coughs> uh, translation of Big Tal. Maybe Big Tal would do better. And verily, we have written the scriptures after the reminder. What scripture? I mean, it says a Zubur, it says a Zikr. Why they don't say the name? A Zikr is there. Change again. Let us see. Maybe we'll get lucky. Keep changing. Let us see. Uh, Ahmad Ahmad Ali. Okay, Ahmad Ali. He said something different. Look, and we had prescribed the book of Psalm after the reminder. What is a reminder here? Is a zikr. So which one come first? You know what I mean? Let us go and see the interpretation. Remember, we are trying to explain the word dhikr. The Muslim, they say the word dhikr, that Allah, he will protect the dhikr. If the dhikr is mean the Quran, then this verse is stupid. Because as you see here, it says, we had prescribed the book of Psalm after a dhikr, the reminder. Do you see it? So this a dhikr, which one come first? Read carefully. And just to show you how stupid it is, if we go to the interpretation, just to make it more clear, so Muslim cannot say, oh, this is not true. Uh, chapter 21, verse 105. <clears throat> Read the Muslim interpretation and laugh. All right. What uh, Okay. Go to after remembrance, meaning the mother of the books. What is that? You know, it's sometimes the explanation of the Muslims is more stupid from the verse itself. Let us see a different one. And verily we have written the scriptures, the Psalm of David, after the reminder. So what it's, we made it clear now that the word dhikr, written, written before the book of Psalm. Do you see it? Do you see it? So how this is the Quran, how the word dhikr is the Quran? Where is the one who answered me? I mean, who asked me a question. Did I answer you? Do you see the word dhikr? Is written it says it clearly in front of us the psalm of David after the reminder after the Torah okay how oh, this is the Quran uh, <clears throat> do we have any Muslim here Do we have any Muslim? We are enjoying refuting uh, Muhammadan, even though it's a new year evening, and I know many of you uh, like, you know, maybe uh, having a good time with your family. So if you want to have a good time with your family, don't stay with us, you know. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Islam is the most stupid, ignorant cult ever. They don't know who is their God. They do not know even what the word Allah mean. They don't know. Ask a Muslim. Okay, Muslims, what do you bring me? Just to show you, just for a, for a comedy show. Guys, hey Muslims, what do you bring me? Jibril, 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 Jibril is everywhere. What what do you bring me? They don't know. Mikhail, what Mikhail mean? They don't know. 
Do you remember the that he was making fun of Israel struggling with the angel of God? Do you remember? Israel. And this is what happened when you are as a Christian, you are debating someone who do not you do not know about his religion. The answer for the that, if I was there, is going to be in two seconds, everybody will laugh at him. If you are making fun of the story that Israel was wrestling, as the verse is saying, which is resemble how much suffering he have in order to be, like he was tested by God. So if you don't approve the story, then why you call him Israel? <laughs> hey Muslims, who is Israel? And what does Israel mean? So the dad was making fun of the priest on the stage, saying, <laughs> so uh, in your book it says that uh, 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 Jacob, he struggled, uh, he wrestled with God. <laughs> How that can happen? <laughs> you stupid, the second you say his name is Israel, you admitted that this is a true story. You see what I'm talking about? Why? So if, if you don't believe in the story that Jacob did, did uh, wrestle, as the verse says, why you call him Israel? Are we following Christians? You see how easy to defeat the stupid cult? But the dad, he take advantage, he debate always people who do not know anything about Islam, so we will not get him busted. If I am in the stage, I will give him a spank every two seconds. Do we have any Muslim have any comment? Because the word Israel, maybe some of you do not know what I'm talking about, maybe. How many of you knows what Israel mean? <laughs> Who knows what Israel mean? Who is Israel? Let us see how many of you know. And this is one of the funny, stupid things about Islam. Not even a single Muslim can tell you what Israel means. <clears throat> Any Muslim? Why the word Israel exists in your Quran? Who is Israel? Uh, we have a Muslim, his name is Ali. How are you, Ali? Welcome, welcome in the chat, my friend. He is saying the following. Let us show on the screen what Mr. Ali is saying. Quran is not a dictionary of words. Quran is guidance. Okay, I will go with you. Hey, Mr. Ali, as long as Quran is a guidance, shouldn't you guide me to tell me who is Israel? Imagine I come to your house and I say the children of a Trump, and then you do not know who is Trump. Do you think you present to me who is Trump? So how this is, can be the book of guidance when you have no guidance for it? If you go in the Old Testament, you will find who is Israel, how his name became Israel, why he was called Israel. In the Quran we go, we find suddenly it says the children of Israel. Okay, you see, you told me this is the book of guidance. Let me take a selfie for your text because we will put it in the Museum of Answers. So who is Israel? It's not a dictionary, it's a book of guidance. I want you to guide me. Who is Malki Sadiq? He's a great man who worship God. He have no beginning, no end, which means he don't have, you know, people do not know who is his parents. They do not know who is, uh, 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 when he was born. They don't know when he died, as simple as that. But he's a great man. That's all what we need to know about him. But here he keeps saying, Israel, Israel, Israel. Allah bless Israel. Allah did to Israel. Allah have uh, Israel have a children's. Okay, but who is Israel? Who is Israel? Any Muslim can tell us? <clears throat> no. 
Muslims say that Jesus was an Arab, not a Jew. Well, that's mean Allah he did lie because it says that Allah he sent the Isa to the children of Israel. <laughs> and the Quran says we never send a messenger except to the people, from the people, speaking the tongue of the people. So again, the one who will say that to you, obviously you do not know what Islam is about. Do we have any Muslim have any answer? How this is can be the book of guidance? You just help me. How this is the book of guidance and it says that the one who Allah deceived, nobody can guide him. How this is the book of guidance and the Quran says, are you going to guide the one who Allah misguide? You tell me how that works. Hmm? Are you going to guide the one who Allah misguide? What do you think? This is the book of guidance. The Quran have different opinion. So Ali he says to us, the Quran is the book of guidance. The Quran says, I am not. Quran was revealed in the time when any everyone knows what Israel. That's not true. That's not true. Guys, look at this answer. Look at this answer. The Quran was revealed when everyone knows what Israel means. It doesn't require explanation. Example, if I say, today USA, I do not need to explain what USA stands for. That can be acceptable if everybody was a Jew. Those who knows who is Israel is specifically the Christians and the Jews. But as you know, Muhammad was born in Quraysh, and none of the people of Quraysh is either a Christian or a Jew. Maybe there is one or two, later they became Nasara. So when you say such a statement, assuming that everybody knows, prove it. How somebody worship the God which is palm tree, or he have a fruit of palm tree, he know who is Israel. What he have to do with Israel? So as you see, the Muslim, they have a very funny answers. Doesn't make any sense. Same time, Allah have time to tell us about the ant spoke to the ant. But he don't have the time to tell us who is Israel and why his name. Okay, the Quran says Jacob. Okay, Jacob, his name is Jacob. So now we have Israel. Who is Jacob and who is Israel? So didn't you tell me how their name came to exist? If his name is Jacob, how his name suddenly became Israel? You need to tell me. And look what happened here, just to show you this, the stupidity of the Quran again. If you are saying that we, everybody knows, but everybody knows what the Jews they say, so you have to approve their book. Correct people? Because how you will know who is Israel? Like the that was making fun of the Bible says that Jacob, he was struggling with God. And he was making fun in the stage saying, your Bible says that, your Bible says that, how that can be? A man is struggling with God or wrestling with God? That is a joke, that's what he said. Then we find that your Quran saying his name is Israel, but the story says that his name became Israel because he struggled with God. <laughs> so in order to say everybody knows, that means you have to agree that everybody knows what the Jews say is true. And that destroy all your fantasy. It's called Islam. Are you following people? Do you see how easy to defeat the cult? If everybody knows, knows what? What the Jews said? What the Jews said in their book? Which book? The, the Torah. You are wrong. Everyone knows who is the Jews, where Jews, where living. Together, no, my friend, your prophet, he ran away from Mecca and there was zero Jews, or maybe there is a few, but Muhammad, he ran and he lived in Yathrib and then he killed all the Jews there. At the same time, this is not an excuse. This is a book of God. A person in Pakistan, how he will know what Israel, okay, you know what? 
Forget about this. What does it mean? As long as you agree that the Jews, they have the history and everybody knows what who is Israel. Shouldn't you know what the name mean? Isn't it God who gave the name to this man? What does it mean? Can you tell me what the word means? You will don't know. Did your prophet ever say you do not know? He never said that. Why? Because Muhammad himself do not know. So when you say you are wrong, everybody knows who is the Jews, where Jews were doing business in Quraysh. That is very stupid argument because what does have to do with no one who is Israel? If I go to a Jew and I am a Hindu and I buy from him some zucchini, that make me a person who knows who is Jacob by buying from him? What kind of answer this answer is? Are you a drunk man? By knowing the meaning of Israel does not mean that you believe in everything they say. Okay, hold on, guys. Ali is helping us more. Uh, Ali, do you like to call me? Are you interested to call me live? Guys, look what Ali he said. Let us put him in the screen. Ali's statement. Are you drunk, man? By knowing the meaning of Israel does not mean that you believe everything they say. You do not know the meaning. And you do not know where the word came from. This is what the topic is. Do you know where the word came from? You said to me, by, by saying Israel, everybody knows. Everybody knows from who? From the Jews. Okay, but isn't the Jews are lying according to you? And now if you are a Muslim and you want to learn what the Jews says, you have to go and read the Torah and believe in it. Are you drunk? And by the way, you Muslims are the best drunk ever. To the point you used to go to the mosque and all of you are drunk, including the Prophet. To the point Arab, they start making fun of Muhammad and his followers, who goes to the mosque and they are collapsing during the time of the prayer. You know? So... Muhammad, in order to stop that, because he became the joke of the town, in chapter 4, verse number 43, Mr. Drunk, he said, Allah said to Muhammad, supposedly, O who you believed, do not perform the service of prayer when you are drunk. Have you ever heard of the disciple of Jesus going to, the, to, going to Jesus and they are drunk? Did you see Paul getting drunk when he's praying? Did you see Mark feeling the part when he's praying? What kind of a prophet and his followers are feeling the part in the mosque? I wish we, there's a video camera at that time. That will be the biggest hit ever in, in the history of YouTube. The prophet and his followers are drunk people. And then Muhammad, he have to make his hand, he have to wash his hand. You know what? We don't agree with this. So Allah, he said, please don't go to the mosque when you are drunk. All right, thank you, Muhammad. Finally, Muhammad, he spoke, he said something, and Allah is the one who said that. <clears throat> and you are saying to me, drunk? The one is drunk is you who believe there is a God. If you kill for him, he will give you virgins, and each time you sleep with them, he make them virgin again, which is nothing but a cheating. I mean, I just sleep with her. You make a virgin for what? Are you, are you fooling me? Are you fooling me? I slept with her. Just a second ago, and now you make a version again. Who is the stupid here? Are you drunk? So, if you make the version version again, that make a version? Is this what virginity for in Islam is? You see, guys, how stupid this cult is? Allah will make the version version again after you sleep with her. But that's mean if a woman she have sex and she make a plastic surgery in her private part, she's version again. <laughs> Cheating. Your God himself is a cheater. This is a cheating. Cheating and he, know, he is obsessed with versions. You know those Arab, they like to be the first man. I'm the first man. Did anyone sleep with you before me? You know? So he promised them versions to fool them. Right? You talk big, you prove nothing. I'm showing you in the screen, Abdul. You see, he go back now to Malki Sadiq. I told you who is he. I told him he's a great man who worshiped the Lord. He have no beginning, he have no end, which means nobody knows about his history. 
The Bible is reporting a great man who worshipped God at a time when everybody was an infidel like Muhammad. Why well, are you stuck with it? I can go with you. Can you tell me who is Salih in the Quran? Salih. Who is Salih? Which tribe? Who is his name? His father's name? His mother's name? Which year he's born? Idris. Even Abraham, you do not know where, he, where he's from. Where is Abraham? Where is Abraham from? <laughs> Saleh, who's Saleh? <coughs> Saleh, the people of Saleh, they come to him and they told him we want a miracle. Who is this guy Saleh? Where he was born? Who is his father? Don't you Muslim, you say, who is Luke? Who is Mark? We know who is Luke, we know who is Mark, and even their names are written there. But I challenge you to tell me, who is Saleh? The, the name you are mentioning in the Bible, is they spoke about him because he was a wonderful man in the time when everybody was this believer in the true God. That's why he's mentioned. That's all. And actually, the name itself is telling you who is he as a great man, decent man. This is what the name means. So, you are silly because we got you busted in everything. You go back to Marquis Sadek. Who is my? We told you. Now, what kind of a prophet, Mr. Drunk, he go to the mosque and his followers are drunk. Is it true that Muhammad, he used to punch Aisha in her skin when he is praying in the mosque and her legs is open? Uh, No, it gave me the meaning. I just told you the meaning. You see, you are being stupid, my friend. If I go right now and search in Google what this word means according to the Bible, you will see. You are very silly. Because every name in the Bible is not a name. Not a single one. Starting from Adam, ending all the way to Peter, Paul, none of them is a name. You are a very silly person. So we have all the meaning for all the names because none of them is a name. If I ask you what Moshe means, you do not know. We know what Moshe means. Moshe is not even a name. It's about what happened to Moshe. Same for Israel. Same for Isaac. Same for Adam. Same for the children of Adam. Same for Noah. We don't have names. This is the book of God. You have names and you do not know what they mean. Who is your prophet? You say Muhammad. So who is Ahmad? What his, his mother, when she gave birth to him, she gave him two names. Maybe he was Muhammad in the morning, he was Ahmad afternoon. Maybe Muhammad was Muhammad when it's daytime and he was Ahmad when it's dark. Why you have two names? You tell me. You don't know. They don't know anything about religion. If we ask Ali, okay, let's go back to zero. Ali, start from the from the name of God. Who is Ali? Who's who's uh, who is uh, who is Allah? I just told you. <laughs> you are like a kid playing with my beard. Uh. <laughs> You know when Muslims they uh, they hang onto onto uh, onto something, and you keep repeating the answer over and over because they don't want you to change. Just to stay here, you are hurting our feeling. Please don't do that. We are followers of the stupid God, which we do not know what His name means. What uh, what Allah mean? They don't know. They don't know. <coughs> anyway <coughs> the man he's a great man he's a righteous man this is why they call him with such a name it's a name given to him this is not his name and because you are a fool and this is a foreign language for you you think this is a name Do we have any Muslim who have anything to, serious to say from the followers of the drunk Muhammad and the drunk disciples of Muhammad? 
Anyone? Allah de de derived from the word al ilah. Okay, guys, let me take a screenshot. Thank you, Ali. Guys, be my witness. Who who is the one who said it's a drift from the word al ilah? It is Ali, correct? So Ali cannot say I'm lying. All right. That's mean. That's mean you do not know the name of your God because the word al ilah, as I know, means the God. So why you say it's a name? I mean, who is this stupid here? <laughs> See, I was stupid this illusion. The word Allah is a, 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 a derived from uh, two words Al Ilah. Be my witness. So, your God have no name, it's just a word coming from the word God. So, why you say this is a name? So, can I say uh, Buddha Al Allah? Allah Buddha? Can I say Allah Shiva? I mean, do you, you see, I just proved to you they do not know what Allah means. Allah is two words, true, but it's not Al Ilah. Why you are adding Ilah? Are you stupid? Why you are adding I? It is Al Lah. Al is a word meaning God. La is the moon God. And if we go to the Islamic dictionary, and let me do that, you will see that your God Allah, Al Ilah, your God, is the serpent, is the greatest snake in the Islamic dictionary. Give me a second. And now we will say it doesn't say that CP. And if you speak Arabic, your name is Ali, I will give you even the reference. You can read it your own. <coughs> Here we go. This is Lisan al Arab, and you are the one who said to me, Al Ilah, remember? So don't say I did not, you did not say that. People will laugh at you. You became a joke of everybody in the town, especially my town, which is a ghost town. You don't want to be the joke of everybody in a ghost town. Al Ilah, Allahu Azza wa Jal, wa kullama tukhda, etc. And here they tell you how it is the word, you know, like uh, uh, accomplish. All right, let, let us go. And then you will see, let us see what it says here. <clears throat> Are you ready for the surprise? This is the word you chose for me, Abdul. Wa al laha, which is al ilah, hiya al hayya al azima. And it is the crescent moon. So, they are telling you where the word Allah is coming from. Read carefully. How the word Allahumma is used. How the word Allah is used. How they took Aleph, they add Aleph. When they add it, when they take it off. And then he says, Wa al ilaha, which is Allah. Al hayy al azima, that great serpent. From Thalab. Thalab is the name of the person, which means fox. He said, It is the crescent moon, Al Hilal. Now, let us do this in the front of everybody. I will translate to English, live in the front of your eyes. Here we go. I want people to see, I'm clicking at translation, hold on. Ah, it's not showing the screen, all right. Translate to English. <clears throat> This page could not be translated. Uh, I think I need to use Google Translate uh, 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 browser. Hold on. Yeah, this browser does not support Google tools. Let us do it here. <clears throat> All right. Everybody will see in a second that your God is the great serpent, which is mentioned in the Bible, the great snake. Translate to English. There we go. And then let us zoom out. And remember, this is the dictionary of Lisan al Arab. This is not Christian Prince opinion. This is the most Lisan al Arab. This is Lisan al Arab, the most powerful, famous Islamic dictionary. Then we go down. <coughs> uh, 
you will see here even they are talking about what the Arab they worship the Arab called the Sun when they worship its God goddess you see it okay and then they are going in details how the world come to accomplish and then let us see what it says <clears throat> Actually, let us search for the word. Uh. Read it. And the goddess, and the goddess, which is Allah, the great serpent fox he said fox is the name of the person this is not part of the story he said which is the crescent moon <laughs> what do you say what do you think this is not my translation this is google translation automatic in the front of your eyes your god is a serpent which is mentioned in the bible it's the greatest snake and this is the same as the crescent moon. Then when we say to people that Allah is the moon God, they say it's a lie because they are ignorant and stupid. <clears throat> and this is the link for those who like, maybe, maybe Christian Prince is not telling the truth, my friend. Maybe, here we go. Huh? Open it. Open the link and use Google Translation by, in your computer. Just do it. Get me busted. Maybe I'm lying. Allah is the great serpent and he is the crescent moon. The Muslim, they will say to you, but how this is, can be true if the Quran says don't worship the moon or the sun? Well, the moon God is not the moon. The moon God is the moon God, which means that, that God of the moon, Allah is the God of the moon. There's God of the sun and there's God of the moon. The God of the sun, he have sex with the God of the moon. And they have three daughters. It's called Allah and al Uzza and Manat. Today is December 31, 2020. We made a video about it previously. But remember this, that in December 20, December 31, a few hours before, an hour and a half before the midnight, uh, we showed the Abdul that Allah is the great serpent and no Abdul dare to say I'm lying and prove me wrong. We show it to you from the dictionary. We show it to you from your books. And you Muslims, you have the crescent moon in the top of your head. And not only that, the Quran says that when you witness the crescent, why you, why you will start fasting when you see the crescent? What does the crescent have to do? I mean, why, why your rituals have to do with the crescent moon? What is the connection? The, the Muslims are ignorant in Arabic, ignorant in their language, ignorant in the, in, about Muhammad. Like, if you ask a Muslim, they say to you, uh, you know, you know that like they say the word moon appear in the Quran, etc. time, etc. Which is stupid because you don't know what the word moon in the Arabic. The word moon appear in the Quran in many ways. There's the word Qamar. There's the word Shahar. Shahar. It's a moon too. This is the word Shahar. And the word Ahilla. So if you go as an example, those are the word Shahar in the Quran at least three times. But here it says that the one who, uh, uh, let us say, actually the, the search engine is not good, you know. If you go to the word Ramadan, in chapter 2 verse 185 it says uh, in the translation it says here to you Ramadan is the month that is a lie the word shahar today is used as a word mean month if you go to the dictionary today in the language today but this is not an Arabic word this is Aramaic and Hebrew you can go right now to the Hebrew dictionary and check what the word shahar mean. And you will find right away that the word shahar mean moon. So Ramadan is the moon which the Quran way was revealed. 
So whoever of you witness the moon, can you witness the, can you witness, you look, look, even the translator, you see, it says here the word shahar again. Look how stupid even they are when they translate. فَمَنْ شَهِدَ مِنْكُمُ الشَّهْرَ So, whoever I cited a shahar. So, if the shahar is a month, how you cite it? The translator here, he said, So, whoever of you see the new moon, replacing what? Replacing the word shahar. So, the word shahar is what? The new moon. So the Quran came in the in, in, in the moon month of Ramadan. You do the fasting when you when you sight the new moon. Is Ali is talking is still alive? <clears throat> uh, black common seed heal all diseases. The word has another meaning which has just basically or in general no my friend uh, <coughs> the word Arabic we can go we go right now to dictionary the word kul mean everything kul that's it so if we go in the hadith first of all let's go to the hadith like we're jumping from topic to topic <coughs> Always, always, when Muslim they say something to you, get them busted from their own words. Do you see the translation? Do you see the translation? This is the Muslim translation. Does it say every disease? And here you will see, it says every disease except death, but death is not a disease. I mean, who, how stupid Muhammad is? How in the world you say except death? But is disease, is that death is disease? When I say stupidity is amazing, I mean it. If I say to you that this medicine, uh, you know, uh, is a remedy for every disease except death, but, the, but death is not a disease. Death is death. Disease is something you have and you are str still struggling with, you know? It's an illness. Death is not illness. That's stupid statement. So read the translation. This is the modern translation. It says, it's a, the, the negla seed is a remedy for every disease. Do you see the word every? Who is the one who translated the word every? Is it Christian Prince? Or this is the Muslim website? So now we do not need to take a vaccine for Corona. Take this, that's it. Alhamdulillah. Prophet Dr. Muhammad, you know best, you know? What you can say? <clears throat> so when they try to fix it by saying oh it doesn't mean every, it says every and this is your islamic and let, okay, let me show you different different interpretation different different translation just to show you how they lie how they try to to fix it i heard allah messenger saying there is a healing in in the black common common for all diseases do you see the word all diseases so they said to you, does not mean all disease? Is what they said to you? Because it's embarrassing. But imagine, my friend, imagine if doctors, they discover that this is true. The Muslim then will say, all, my friend, it's all. I assure you. <laughs> and by the way, me, myself, I mean, anytime I have a problem, like once I lost an arm, I just took coming, you know, and that's it. It came back, you know. Once I, you know, I was in the war and they shot me. This is a true story, by the way. I swear by Allah, this is how true it is. I mean, with the second you hear a Muslim say, I swear by Allah, it's mean the story, all of it is a lie. So I swear by Allah, brother, that once they shot at me when I was in Afghanistan with RBG, the RBG go in my mouth and explode inside my mouth and my mouth explode. But then I took one of those things, I ate it, brother, and then my, my mouth was fine and I, there's no even any sign of it anymore. True story. You don't believe me? I swear by Allah. This is the biggest disease ever in the man life. They lie and they swear by their God. 
Yeah, the Bible mentioned many, many things is a benefit for mankind, but it's not that uh, for every disease, not a healing for every disease. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm, cough I'm coughing. I hope it's not bothering you from your side. Anyway, I don't know how long you've been here, you know, listening, but as you see, the Muslims are no match for very simple reason. Knowledge, my friend. And I am here to serve you. I want every one of you to be not only Christian Prince, I want you to beat Christian Prince. I want you to know we are more than a Christian Prince. I want you to pass him in knowledge so you can fight the cult of Islam. I want to find in the future, I pray, that youth who will come and take the responsibility from the Christian children to take over, learn, and teach. Time will come and I will not go online anymore because either I did or maybe I took one of the medicine of Muhammad. You know, like Muhammad he said, just to show you stupidity, the Muslim they say to us that the Bible says, if uh, no poison can harm you, no poison can harm you. Now there's a story about, you know, uh, one of the disciples, he was not harmed by poison, but the verse is so clear, no poison, what poison? The, the Bible says, don't fear the one who destroy the body, but the one who destroy the spirit, right, the soul. So Jesus himself was killed. So obviously we Christians, we go and get killed. Muhammad, uh, sorry, Jesus, he said, you know, people by killing you, they are doing, they think they are doing favor to God. I leave you as sheep between wolves. So Jesus warned us, they will kill you, they will torture you, they will, you know, you will die for my sake. So obviously the verse does not mean that, that if you, poison will not affect you. But the poison of this world will not affect you. Nobody can poison you unless you let the, de the devil go to your heart. But look what Muhammad he said. If you eat seven ajwat every morning, no poison affect you. Now the story here, no problem. I mean, palm trees is very useful, by the way. Nobody can say it's not. All fruits are useful. I mean, all fruits. It's a gift from God. But the problem is that Muhammad himself, he died by poison. I mean, the guy, Dr. Muhammad, who's trying to help us. And he is telling us how to stop poison from affecting you. Later, he died by poison. <laughs> So if Muhammad taking seven ajwa every morning, and this is why he was talking about it, because Muslim they were asking, why you are eating seven ajwa every day? He said, he who eats seven ajwa a day every morning will not be affected by poison or magic. And the funny is, Muhammad was affected by the magic, according to Muslims, and he died by poison. So Muhammad, he proved himself again to be a fraud. Both of them happened to him. Muslim, is it true that Muhammad was under the influence of a black magic? To the point Muhammad, he don't know he is having sex with his wife or with the pillow. When the Hadith says that the Prophet used to imagine himself having intercourse. And you know, I like it when it says intercourse. I will explain to you why. You see, many of you read, but you don't go in details. Okay, the translation here it says sexual relation, sexual relation, okay. Uh, but this is intercourse, right, Muslims? Isn't it? Do you agree? Okay, so Muhammad, when he was imagining intercourse, he was entering what? The intercourse was happening with what? Any Muslim can help me? We got it. He is under the black magic influence. Now he is having sex, but not with the wives. The black magic is working, but he is not having intercourse with the wives. He is having intercourse with who? I will leave that for you to investigate it. Do let me know. Maybe a thousand years from now you'll find out. But look what happened. Muhammad who advised us to eat seven ajwa so we can be protected from poison, 
he died by poison, as he said himself, which Muslim cannot deny and can say he's lying. I mean, if I say Muhammad died by poison, they will say he's lying. By the way, just wait in the text, the chat, or in the comment, they will see you all lying, Christian Prince. It's in the front of you. The Prophet, in his element of which he died, he used to say, not only once, not twice, used, used. He used to say, O oh Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. And at this time, I feel as if my aorta is being cut off from the poison. Was Muhammad wrong? I challenge the Muslim to say it was wrong. Just say it. People will laugh at you. Then we find in different hadith Muhammad saying, the one who eats seven ajwa, and this is Sahih Bukhari as you see, it, as you see, no poison will affect him and no magic will affect him. Like, hold on, he died by poison and he was under the influence of magic, even his sex was false. I mean, this guy, he have no witnesses for anything. Even his sex, no witness. Look, in this story here, Aisha, she's saying the prophet having sexual relationship, but not with the wives. He was imagining, okay, there's no witnesses. So there's no witness that he saw Jibreel. There's no witness he received verses. There is no witness of anything he did in his life. Even his sex, there's nobody. And this will remind me of a guy, a movie I told you about. I don't know if you saw his movie. It's called The Perfect Host. When I watched this Perfect Host first time movie, the first thing come to my mind is Muhammad. I don't want to damage the story for you, <clears throat> but this person and the perfect host, uh, he write letters to himself, he put it in the mailbox, and then he go and he take it, he receive mail from his girlfriend who live in Australia. He do that, he write letters, from his girlfriend, I forgot her name. He put it in the mailbox, and then he opened it, and he enjoyed reading his the girlfriend letter. And then this guy himself, later he imagined himself have guests, and he imagined having sex with the women who they are guests. I mean, the story is really amazing. This is Muhammad himself. Just watch it. You will die laughing. Right? I think Ali he said something. I checked the Quran and I found you are wrong about the word shahar. Okay, hold on. Guys, he checked the Quran and he, he found I am wrong about the word shahar. You want to you wanna bet? In the front of everybody. <clears throat> Guys, what do you think? Can Mr. Let us put it in his chat, his, his text, so people can read what he said. Ali, are you willing to challenge me? Are you willing to challenge me? Anyone? Who want to challenge me? I check the Quran. I love when you say I check the Quran. I thought the Quran is not a dictionary. You are the one who said that to me. <laughs> you said to me, the Quran is not a book of dictionary. Is not a dictionary. Is a book of guidance. Right? Let me show you your ignorance, my friend. <clears throat> This is your Islamic dictionary. I challenge you to call me and to read if you are a man.
any Muslim, and we can go in the same time to the Hebrew and see what the word shahr mean in Hebrew. Let us see. <coughs> Sorry. We don't we don't accept stupidity and ignorance. Don't try with the Christian prince. This is the dictionary. And read what it says. The mean of Shahar is the moon. Do you see it or you are blind? Do you see it or you are blind? Never, never challenge Christian Prince. You are mistaken. This is why nobody there to debate me and to call me. Do you see it? This is not even an Arabic word. It's used in Arabic case, but this is not an Arabic word. It's a word meaning the moon. This is why the Quran says, وَمَنْ شَهِدَ مِنْكُمْ الشَّارِ Whoever I witness, how you can witness the moth? You don't witness the moth. The moth is not something you can see. I just to check the Quran, you made a joke of yourself. <clears throat> Isn't it funny how Muslim they, they, you know, kids, they are kids. I feel sorry for them, honestly. <clears throat> well, you know, sometimes I feel like a homeless. He is begging for somebody who, who understands what he's talking about. Like, can I find a Muslim who knows what he's talking about? <coughs> hmm. The Chinese they said he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. Anyway. I'm not going to keep you longer, uh, you know, maybe many of you, they have uh, a time with their family. Uh, but as you see, the reason, the reason what we do is extremely important because those Muslims, they feel they are in this ability the second they stand in my presence. For the Lord is our power and we defeat them with their lies, with the power of the Lord. You know what I mean? <clears throat> uh, no, my friend, there is no different meaning for the context. The context, which is simply because it says in the Quran, whoever of you saw the moon, witness, witness. Do you witness? Do you witness the, the moth? Guys, who, who witnessed the moth? Any one of you witness the moth? Even the Muslim translation, look. You see what the Muslim translation says? So whoever of you see the new moon. Okay, what is the word moon in the whole Arabic? Show it to me. If the word shahar is not moon, why the Muslim in the translation they say moon? Do you see it? This is the Muslim translation. Where is the word moon? Show me. Who knows? Who knows? Who is the smart? He can show me the word moon in Arabic. If, if the word shahar is not moon, no moon. There is no moon there. The only word we see is shahar. So how the word moon uh, appear? So look, we show you the dictionary, we show you a Muslim interpretation and somebody says the, the, the different context. What context? It says whoever witness, witness. I cited, change the translation just to show you. You see, sometimes I feel like I'm, I'm talking to myself. I will change the translator just to make you happy. All right, this is Ahmed Ali. Go to Hilali Khan, let us see, Hilali. All right. 
Where is Hilary? <clears throat> Here we go. Read carefully. Read carefully. Whoever is blind, please look and see. Okay? So whoever of you sight, sight, do you sight the word, do you sight the moth? Anybody can tell me what the word sight mean? I sight him, you sight, you sight what? You sight the moon, even here between two brackets, it says the crescent moon of the month of Ramadan. So if the word moon is not there, why we keep seeing it? And I just show you the dictionary. <laughs> anyway, garbage in, garbage out. I know Ali, he will not sleep well tonight after he got all those horrible things about his God. Proving that Islam is stupid. There is a word moon in Arabic Qamar. Oh, thank you for catering me. Guys, there's Arabic word, the moon Qamar. You're genius. You're genius. Exactly. So if the word in Arabic Qamar is the moon. So why we see here sighting. How you sight? Sight what? Sight the moon. Do you see it? <laughs> Whoever I sight. Oh boy. Stupidity. Stupidity, and this is not Arabic word. The word shahar is not Arabic. Actually, there's nothing Arabic in the Arabic. The word Quran is not Arabic. The word Amin is not Arabic. The word uh, Ashhadu is not Arabic. The word shahar is not Arabic. The word Pustan is not Arabic. The word Qalam is not Arabic. The word Tabud is not Arabic. I mean, all your Quran is not Arabic. We cannot find Arabic in the Arabic Quran. <coughs> Anyway, did we have a good time together, guys? Uh, so I want to say thank you. I'm not going to keep you long. Uh, I'm trying to keep my videos shorter so it's easier for people to download them, you know? And this is the bad thing about me. I keep the videos going long, long. But as you see, we are like a school. You know, we open the classroom 7 a.m. in the morning and then we end when the, when, when, by the sunset. And this is my fault, like I keep going, you know, which supposedly is for the benefit of all. But some people, they cannot, you know, I mean, they have slow internet. They want to download the videos. They want to share it with their friends. So we will try to make it smaller. I will try actually to make small videos. But how in the world I can do it, I don't know. Don't ask me. Short video for Christian Prince is one hour at least. I'm trying to make like, you know, others that could make 15 minute videos. I don't know how to do them. I don't know, because the second you open a topic, that's it. It's like a flood. You know what I mean? <clears throat> you know the flood of Noah? The Lord, he gave us a lot of knowledge. We are thankful for him. So we can defeat the garbage of Muhammad. The virgin provider. The man who say the stupid things nobody can believe. I mean, who in the world, when I have a woman, you can see her bones? I mean, why? Am I a dog who would like bones? Why I need to see a woman bones, see through bones? Is that a promise of God or a promise of person who is perverted mentally ill? Why I want to sleep with women and Allah, he made them just for sex. Allah, he never heard of the word love. What about this God? He made the same as Adam and Eve. God, he created one Adam, one Eve, not one Adam and 72 Eves. And if all those Eves, they look the same, so what the benefit? According to Muslims, all the wives of the Muslims in the heaven, they look the same face, the same eyes, the same height, the same name, the same color, the same everything. So having a thousand women, they look the same. I mean, this is stupid. This is really stupid. All of them look the same. And all of them, they sing the same song. They are like a, a like a, a Barbie machine. You touch it in the Billy Bomb, then the ta 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 ta, then da 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 da. You know, all of them they say the same song. They say the same words. I can show you the reference. I can show you the hadith. So how in the world this is from God? 
What kind of a prophet he promised me? I will see. I will have women. I can see the marrow of their bones. That is disgusting. And it's very tempting, by the way. I'm single. I mean, this is why it's very hard for me to fight the temptation of Allah. I mean, when you hear the, when you read this hadith, and you are a single, and you say to yourself, "How beautiful." How beautiful and how, you know, this is sexy and you know it. So you will go to heaven and then you will have a woman who you can see through their bones and then you will end with this. Good luck with that. This is a promise of God. If this is God the promise, so what is the stupidity is? This is supposedly sexy and you know it. Is she going to have the same pose for you with high heels? And supposedly you will get like so excited? But we have to admit, there's many benefit of this X-ray thing of Muhammad. First of all, how Muhammad knew about X-ray, you tell me. Muslim now they will make a scientific miracle about it, just wait. The benefit is, if a woman, if your wife, she took your, she ate your hamburger, you can see it inside her stomach. You know, right away you will point you will point your finger at her stomach, say, Hey look, hey, hey, I see it here. <laughs> Where you can go? You cannot hide it no more. I got you busted. If your wife she hide a credit card, where she can hide it, she cannot hide it no more. So we have to take the promises of Allah in a positive way. Isn't it obvious? This is God talking? This is the God you want me to worship and follow? I mean, who is the stupid here? Sometimes, you know, I wonder if a human being is a human being or he is a certified donkey. Honestly. I mean, you cannot convince a donkey that about, about this. How we can convince a human being? What's wrong with a human being? Is that different level of Corona? But because Muhammad, he speak to the Arab and they are racist, they love white women. Obsessed with white women. So he promised them white women to the point. They are so white. To the point you can see through their bones. You know, when somebody is so white, you can see the vein inside his skin. Is that true? You know what I'm saying, right? So Muhammad go extreme with the promise of his gang so they can go and die to get the versions. If you go and watch all the videos of Al-Qaeda and ISIS, all of them, they are speaking about getting the versions before they die, like when they go to explode themselves. Alhamdulillah. Brother, today I'm going to see the version. He's not going to see Allah. He's going to see a panty. He's dying to see the panty. What is the panty? I want to die. What this life for? I want to go to the land of the panties, the, the land of Allah. A lot of panties. This is why they suicide themselves. This is why they want to kill each other. This is why it's very bloody because they are sexually possessed. With the promise of Muhammad, and the you know, even he promised him via Gara, like the power of the Prophet in the heaven. Anyone, anyone remember what the pro the power of the Prophet of of Muhammad? Before we go, just to a, sm a small quiz for you to see how many of you is following. If you have my book Sex and Allah, you will know what I'm talking about. What is the power of Muhammad in the heaven of Allah in sex? Anyone remember? And I want any Muslim to explain to me why it's so important that Muhammad is so good in bed. And why Allah he gave him this power. Anyone knows? Forty men. No, he will get forty he, he will get the power of uh, uh, forty men of people of heaven. 
but each one of the people of heaven will have the power of 100 men. So the total is 40,000, sorry, 4,000. So Muhammad will go to heaven and he will have the power of 4,000 men. And then Muhammad, he go far with stupidity. You will have orgasm for 70 years, 70 years. You know, somebody help me with a calculation just to show you how stupid this cult is. If the orgasm is for 70 years and you have at least 70 women, all right? 70 years, let us switch to English. 70 years, the orgasm for each woman. And then you have what? You have at least 70 women, at least 72 actually. Let us make 72. Okay. If you have orgasm with one woman, how many years this woman, she will have her turn back? Somebody can give me the number? Can somebody give me the number? Your turn will be after 4,900 years to have sex with you again. So what the point? What, what the point? Especially all of them, they look the same. They have the same name, they have the same face, they have the same height, they have the same color. So, if you have sex with them, with one of them, and then you will have sex with her after 4,000, uh, uh, 4,000, I think I, is it 4,900? I, I think 4,900, uh, not 49,000, sorry. Yeah, there's a mistake here. Anyway, you got that, you got the idea. <laughs> <laughs> what is this it's 5,000 sorry the numbers is, I did not use calculator uh, actually I think the number is wrong 70 for 70 that would be the 49 if they are 70 I think he gave me the number for 70 so uh, let us clear this so it will be 5,000 yeah you are right the 49 4,900 Okay, this is 5,000 and 40. 5,040 years. You have sex with you today? Your turn, next turn, is 5,040 years after. Go take a nap. What do you would do during that time? And she is jailed inside the house. She can't go out. What a crazy religion. Same women, same face. Same name, same height, same same song. What a crazy religion! Yeah, yeah, I know. So like, yeah, it's, uh, he he gave me the number when it was I said seventy x seventy. That would be uh, four thousand nine hundred. Yeah. What a crazy cult! Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you very much for being here. We pray that the coming year will be a blessing for all of us. I want to say special thanks for those who support what we do. Uh, those who do, uh, make donation, we appreciate them for sure. Those who translate the books, we appreciate them for sure. Uh, uh, I cannot actually thank the people who support enough. Uh, because if, if they don't support, I cannot really do everything alone. You know, I'm just one person who do everything alone but in the same time i have many good people who they are behind me and they are doing maybe the little but it's big for me uh, so i'm very thankful for those who did the little and the big those who translate the books for free absolutely for free um, but it wasn't for free for them because they spend from their time and their life to do it and i do not know their names i do not know who they are but yet they did it wonderful people I pray for them, I pray for the Lord to give them, uh, to support them, to take care of them. If not in this earth, in the hereafter. I pray for the Lord for those who support us in our mission by giving donation. And I pray for the poor who cannot support us, that we can give them when we can. And the best we can give to you as me, as a person who work online. I don't see you 
in person. I don't know you. I never met you. You will not even see my video, this video, in my channel. You will see it in a different channel. I pray to the Lord to support you. I pray to keep you safe. If you are a Muslim, I pray to the Lord to open your eyes so you will see the truth and the truth will set you free. Let us, all of us, practice the book of Psalm, chapter 82, verse 1 to 4, where it says that defend the poor. And if you want to defend the poor, you need to know first who is the poor. There is poor in spirit. There is poor of wealth. There is poor of understanding. Let us find all kind of poor. It is our enemy. Feed the hungry if he is physically hungry. But feed the hungry if he is spiritually hungry too. Feed the one who is hungry for knowledge by sharing knowledge. And that's what we do here. In the same time, deliver the poor. And there's people who they are poor by knowledge, not necessarily poor by wealth. Deliver them, rescue them from the hand of the wicked. And the wicked Muhammad will not be allowed to take you away if you are with the true Lord. The Lord, which is, he is the only one can save you. His word is holy, his ark is holy, and his heaven is holy like him. Not the land of a pimp house. God is not a pimp. So we will leave the land of wickedness. We will leave our wickedness behind us. And we pray that the Lord will take us and deliver us from the wickedness. The Lord, he used the good ones of us. And I'm not the good one. I never claimed to be one. And I am not a good one. For the Lord, he said it clearly. Only he is good. But the good one of us is the one they do the best of their good. But they are not good still. For nobody can be good save God. So I pray to the Lord to make the good of us do even better and better. So they can deliver us and help us and help each other to be out of the wickedness of this life. The wickedness of the man, the wickedness of temptation, the wickedness of deceivers, the wickedness of evil, we need it badly. We pray the coming year will not be the same as the previous year, but trust me, we cannot fix it unless we all work. Praying is not enough. The Bible says, faith without act, without the fruits, is a dead faith. So what about you decide today in the last day of the year, the last hour of the year, for those who did not have the year yet, or those who started the year? What if we say, let us deliver the poor one from the wicked, and I am going to do it. I'm going to work with it. And we start to deliver ourselves first, because all of us, we have our issues, we have our problems. So we pray that we can deliver ourselves from the wickedness of this earth, and we can deliver others and help them. I pray that all of you will be safe. And I pray, and the Muslim will be surprised why I'm saying this. You know, I said that before. I said, I pray that the Lord will shorten my life. Not because, not because I'm asking to die, no. But I believe <clears throat> that the best thing can happen to me and the best thing can happen to a believer is to see the Lord, to be with the Lord. It's like, you know, you are waiting for that day. I don't care for this life. I have nothing to do with it. I don't want to have anything to do with it. I want to go and I want to say to the Lord, I did give every moment I can. I did my best to preach your name, to save the Muslims and to bring them to you. And I did bring thousands and thousands and thousands out of Islam and they believe in you. So I am happy the day I meet my Lord Death for a believer is a day of a glory, not a day, not a day of losing, not a day of end. It's the day of beginning. This earth is nothing worthy. However, you as a believer, you live and you give fruits and you help and you do your part. In the same time, we pray to do, to be with the Lord soon. That is not a bad wish. Even some people they might say, "How you wish that?" Well, it's the, my best wish actually. What I want to wish for a big TV? What I want to wish for a big car? The best wish a believer can wish for is to be with the Lord. No better than his name and no holy place to be in better than his place. He is preparing for us a better place. He, we will be different persons. We will be different, different human, different kind of people. This is why the Bible says the Lord, he said, he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. 
and being the same as angels is not about being an angel but about being free in Islam you are sex addicted you are a slave of sex you are a slave of hunger slave of food you are going to there to be there like a worm who don't stop having sex and eating as if you are a cattle with the Christ we will not be a cattle we do not care for food we will not look at each other in a sexual way we will be free like angels who have no needs and that is the best imagine that you are going to live eternity and you are free from all needs all needs so with jesus we have different happiness different level of life and no one can describe it while muhammad describing it as a dish of food while muhammad describing it as the size of a private part while muhammad describing it as the number of women you will sleep with jesus because of his holiness he prepared for us a happy heaven which no one can describe for have nothing to do with this earth no joy in this earth can be there because this is temporary joy all joy you have in your life like now maybe you drink maybe you are a person who is obsessed with alcohol you enjoy alcohol for the first five minutes after that you are drunk for poor you sex whatever time you can have sex but then after what after you have sex what happened the joy is gone food when you are eating you are enjoying the food but there's a moment you cannot eat no more and that joy is gone and what kind of a joy is that it's just a food but with the lord the joy is a high level for we are going to be with the lord himself his name is holy his house is holy and his invitation is for the holy so be holy like your father so you can be fit there and we pray the lord will forgive us for our sin for all of us we are sinners and the one of us he don't confess his sin or he don't believe or he don't think he have sinned he's a liar he's a liar the one who claimed that he is holy he's a liar all of us we need the savior and no saving except by him he said i am the door i am the way i am the truth in the same time when he say he is the lord doesn't mean it's just a door you open there is a way not everyone says to me lord lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will so do his will my friend with your sin you have sin you have wrong you did wrong i did wrong but still there's a way be holy it's a project to work in so let us make this coming year this coming future holy project try to be holy we pray to the lord to forgive us for our sin and to the sin of the Muslims if they accept him and repent to him and they lift and stay away from the devil of Islam and from the God of sex, money, gold and silver. The one who promised them a bracelet of gold. How funny, how silly. I will have a bracelet of gold. The one who promised them all kind of stupid silly things, couches, bed. Look how silly he's promising me furniture. Allah, he worked with Walmart. So we have the great God. We have the true God. And we are with him victorious. I pray and I hope to see you soon. And may the Lord bless your life, all of you. And again, thank you for all those who support us. You do not need me to say your names. But your names is known by the Lord. Not even by me. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon. Take care.